Welcome to my discounted cash flow Excel model overview. The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of the entire DCF model that I use to value listed companies on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. This model makes use of historically published results and based on the descriptive statistics of those results we forecast a potential future for the business and use that forecast in order to determine the cash flows and discount those cash flows to get a present value and ultimately a valuation for the business. So the DCF follows the format of traditionally taught discounted cash flow models. The major benefit of this model is that once it is set up and set up properly I am able to simply change in the top left hand corner the ticker code for the company call up new data for a, another company and see what the valuation and the what the statistics of that company are. I'll demonstrate that once we get to the end of the video. So to start off with, let me give you an overview. So first of all here we have a share ticker code that describes who the business is. Clearly this is RCL Foods. At the top of my model I have some descriptive data here. I'm not going to go through that in detail right away. Below that I have a series of also descriptive statistics that describe the income statement which is what you see here and the balance sheet data that comes a little bit further on down here. Let me zoom out to give you a holistic overview of the model. Let's start off here in the bottom left hand corner. This data here is historical income statement and balance sheet data going back at least five years and in many cases a lot further than that. As I said earlier this is publicly available information and if you went to RCL you could find this information in PDF documents on their website. I take this data and I put together some descriptive statistics at the top here that describe this data. And this is mostly a description in terms of percentage of sales. Once I have some information that describes this data, I can then use this information to forecast the future. And we use some clever formulas in order to best describe the future based on the past. It's in this area where discounted cash flow models often get a bad name because there's a lot of assumptions. The intention of this model is as best as possible to avoid any bias or assumptions that may come from the person doing the valuation because it's those biases and the, by bias I mean are you a buyer or a seller you will view the different you'll view the business differently I want to take all those biases out when I describe the future of the business yes sometimes there is a time where company information that we know is important and we might want to include it in our forecast if we have uh, verifiable data but I'm assuming in this model that I have no access to management and no conversations there where I have any privileged information about the future. That's the starting point. It's the base level of this DCF model. So once I have some descriptive statistics for the future I can use those in order to produce an income statement and a balance sheet forecast. Now I go forward 10 years in this forecast 
and I use this forecasted income statement and balance sheet to ultimately produce data for a free cash flow forecast and in future videos we will explore exactly what the free cash flow calculations are about and how we calculate them but ultimately I'm looking for this free cash flow line and I'm going to discount those future cash flows at a cost of capital that I've calculated here in order to get a present value of future cash flows and do a valuation calculation here right at the end of the valuation process and whatever that value is it's been transferred up to the top of my model so I can compare it very quickly to the current share price so here we see RCL share price on the 25th of February is 14 Rand 39 my discounted cash flow model tells me a valuation of 19 Rand and 12 cents base value without any specific interrogation of the statistics some other things that this tells me about the business is that RCL has been destroying value for at least the last eight years and their returns are way less than what shareholders would traditionally expect from a portfolio of JSE companies and we will explore these stats and these measures as we build the model and talk about why we use these different measures so as a last piece I'm going to change this company I'm going to use BLU and when I push enter Excel is going to head off in order to get some data out of the database and return information that is for a company that is in the media at the moment because of their association and shareholding in cell C and what we have here is blue label telecoms and very quickly I have the historical financial data here I have the descriptive information over here which is then used to provide future descriptive information and then produces my income statements and balance sheet forecasts down here and below that as you saw earlier the valuation process is then followed and it produces for me a valuation for blue label telecoms and then we can make what judgments we want of that and maybe now go and review some of the descriptive statistics and ask ourselves are they potentially a fair reflection of what the future may be and perhaps we might say that blue label telecoms is slightly undervalued however some things jump out at me and firstly I recognize here that this business has been destroying value certainly for the last 10 years and has returns that are mediocre at best perhaps improving over the last three years that improvement there might be creating certain expectations into the future and that might be why um, potentially there's some value that appears to be created in the in the discounted cash flow model so there's a quick overview of my model over the coming videos we are going to work through this step by step learning the Excel skills, learning the financial skills in order to build the base model to do a discounted cash flow calculation of the value of a business. See you in the next video.